27th week of pregnancy. Symptoms of pregnancy in the 27th week. The 27th week of pregnancy is a wonderful period. When most of the annoying side effects disappear, such as nausea, vomiting and fatigue. Important information about the 27th week of pregnancy. Among the important notes during this period are the following. There is an improvement in the difficulty of breathing. Because the head of the fetus is located lower, which reduces the pressure on the diaphragm. The uterus pushes the abdomen forward greatly, therefore. The balance is now improper and you must be careful when doing routine activities. Sexual desire increases during this period. And there is no objection to having a marital relationship. Especially if the pregnancy is healthy. Fetal movements can be felt more. A pregnant woman may suffer from cramps in the muscles of the legs and lower abdomen. But it is important to distinguish between them and labor pain. A good sleeping position must be found to get enough sleep. And a healthy diet must be maintained. Strong abdominal cramps should be reported. And you should tell your doctor to verify that this is not preterm labor. Caution should be taken when changing the position from sitting to standing. Especially if the pregnant woman suffers from dizziness caused by a drop in blood pressure. Fetal development in the 27th week of pregnancy. The development of the fetus at this stage is as follows. The fetus weighs about 0.87 kilograms and is about 36.6 centimeters long. The fetus can now hear the mother and those around her. The baby responds to various sounds such as heartbeats and noises. And the mother feels his responses, which are thanks to leaps. The fetus can now see, but indistinctly, enabling it to distinguish between light and dark. You should pay close attention to the signs of childbirth, such as labor pains, etc. And if you feel something suspicious, see a doctor immediately. Tests of the 27th week of pregnancy. Among the important examinations during this period are the following. Conducting routine pregnancy follow-up examinations with the doctor, such as blood pressure, pulse, weight, and the presence of edema. In addition to measuring the size of the uterus and its suitability for the week of pregnancy. And whether the mother feels the movements of the fetus. Conducting a routine ultrasound examination to ensure that the fetus is growing in a normal and healthy manner, and to determine the amount of amniotic fluid and to watch the movements of the fetus. Conducting laboratory tests for hemoglobin, examination of general and cultured urine and examination of antibodies to the Rh factor. Have a glucose tolerance test to check for gestational diabetes.